Today we're taking a closer look at the finals and I'll teach you how to adjust the sound with a step-by-step -step guide by applying the EQ filters and the compression settings that I use. And the difference will be night and day, but to achieve it, we need to understand what's going wrong with the default audio. As an arcade shooter, the developers made the finals to be immersive and entertaining. But this creates three major issues. First, the bass is overrepresented. Every explosion and collapse pumps out low-end frequencies. Two, the in-game audience and the announcers often overlap crucial audio cues. But even if you disable the announcers, the in-game audience can still mask important events. And third, the footsteps are quiet, and this appears to be intentional. Unfortunately, there is no direct boost to the footsteps that can make this clear as uh, so many other sounds overlap in this frequency range. But we can clean up the audio through EQ and compression, and this can sometimes make them easier to hear. Let's begin with the easiest and most impactful fix, which will be taming the low end. By default, the bass can be a little bit overwhelming, as it sometimes masks over the mids and the highs. To fix this, we're going to apply a high pass filter and what this does is it allows the mids and the highs to pass through while reducing 80 hertz and below. And with the high pass filter applied, the same clip now sounds like this. This helps to create more headroom in the mix and it will help to balance out the sound, but before we get to that, we'll need to make an adjustment to the mid-range. And this addresses the second problem, which is the crowded mid-range. This area, around 900 hertz, is where a lot of the game's spectacle lives. The announcers, the audience, and other immersive effects. And I think they're too forward in the mix. We'll fix this by creating a notch in this frequency range. Beginning with 900 Hz, we'll reduce it by 6 dB with a moderately wide Q of 2.2. This will help us to catch any of the game show effects without making the mix sound unnatural or hollow. And now with a cut to the mid range applied, the same clip now sounds like this. crowd is still there. It's all very audible, but it's been pushed back in the mix. And this has added just a little more headroom for us, as the next filter will be a boost to the highs. What we're looking for here is to add a small boost to directional audio cues, the coin or the jingling sound of the light class, and depending on the surface, footsteps. And we can improve this with a small boost beginning at 3000 Hz. We'll apply 3 dB with a wide Q of 1.0. Also, you don't want to boost this area too much, as it can make other in-game sounds painfully sharp. Now with this subtle boost applied, directional audio cues and overall clarity is improved. We can take this one step further by adding compression. This acts like an automatic volume manager, capping how loud sounds can get, while giving a small boost to the quieter sounds. With our EQ set, we still have a problem of dynamic range, which is the difference between the loudest sounds and the quietest sounds. If we turn up the volume, or EQ specifically to boost footsteps, but then gunfire or an explosion goes off, inevitably you end up having to turn down the volume. And this is where you need a compressor. Through my testing, I have found that 8 dB on the threshold and on the output is the optimal amount of compression for the finals. And what this does is simple. 
it caps the output ceiling at minus 8 dB, uh, preventing explosions or gunfires from peaking, while boosting the floor by 8 dB, making the quieter sounds just a little bit louder. If you want to learn how to install and set up Equalizer APO and LoudMax, I made a video about this and I'll link it in the description. As with all things, there is plenty of wiggle room and we need to talk about any personal adjustments that you would like to make. Because it's important to understand that these settings were tested by my ears using my gear. I'm wearing the Bear Dynamic DT900 Pro X's, a mostly neutral headphone. But what if your headphones aren't like this? What if they're V-shaped? Or what if your headset has treble roll off? If you wanted to make any personal adjustments, I would start with the high pass filter and I would slide it from 80 Hertz to around 100 Hertz or until the rumble goes away. And for the mid range, if the 6 dB cut is too much for your headphones, you might want to pull it back a few dB to find the right balance for you. Start by shifting from minus 6 dB to minus 4 dB and see how that sounds. And lastly, the small boost at 3K. If you need more of a boost or if you want to pull it back, try so with 1 dB increments until it sounds right for you. And on another note, I did some testing with the night mode option in the audio settings and I can confirm that this doesn't deliver what we're looking for. By applying a compressor without the EQ, we inevitably end up boosting the things that we don't want to hear as well. And it's important to remember that there are no magic numbers. We all use different gear and we have different headphones. So use the EQ as your foundation and then adjust based on what you're hearing. And the most important part here is that you can always trust your ears. All right, I think that's everything I've wanted to cover. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.